I'm sure you probably noticed the difference in engagement and reach when using Instagram stories versus your posts. Stories allow us to get a behind the curtain look at what brands do day to day. It's like we get this uncurated look and really get to see what it takes to make them unique. And when done right, certain brands just hook you in their stories. And there are times that having branded Instagram templates can be super helpful. When I created my templates in Adobe Spark post, not only did this become a time saver, it helps keep me on brand and makes my content stand out. In this tutorial, we will talk about three templates to jumpstart your Instagram story strategy. Before you go into designing your templates, you want to define what type of stories will you be sharing. So make a list, take a minute, maybe five minutes to make that list of those types of stories that you'll be sharing because that will help you guide your templates. I typically do IGTV tutorials, takeovers, and quick step-by-step -step stories. So these are the three most useful templates that I have and that's what we'll focus on. Before we get into that, I want to give you a quick overview on how you can create your own custom templates with a similar design that I'm showing you. So we're going to go to Adobe Spark Brand Manager to get started. Now, if you're not interested, you can skip this part of the tutorial and go to minute six and 24 seconds. Once you are in your brand manager, you're going to select the brand you want to work with and you're going to click the plus sign to create a new template. That brings you to the starting window and what I'm going to do is select Instagram story and it'll resize it for me and then I'm going to go in and change the background color to have a clean slate. Then I'll upload a photo and once I find the photo, I'm going to select move freely. Then I'll go and resize it. I just want this to cover the entire background. So once I'm happy with the size, I'm actually going to bring the order to the back so that it actually is a background. Then we'll repeat the same process. I'll add a photo. So I tap on the plus symbol. I'm going to select the photo I want to upload, add it to move freely, and then I'm going to place and resize my image. So I'm adjusting this image so that it looks like there's a border around it. And that's why we have that background illustration in the back that I did. And so I'm going to tweak this a little bit more because I want this to fit a little bit larger. And then what I'm going to do, I think that's pretty good. So now I'm going to add on another icon and I'm going to tap on the plus symbol and I'm going to look for a rectangle. Then I look for one that's not too much of a really strong rectangle. It kind of looks a little bit like a square so that I can fit that in my graphic. I'm going to rotate it. Then I'm just going to make this larger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I change that background color because that background is going to be very hard to read with type. And I have a lot of color already. So I want to make this a different color. One of my brand colors that's a lot lighter that will allow for improved legibility. So I think that's great. Now I'm going to tap on the order and I'm going to bring that to the back, not to the very back, but behind my image. Then I'm going to make sure my logo goes up higher so it doesn't fall in the background. I'm going to tweak this and adjust this. Sometimes I use the arrow keys when I'm working on the desktop, which makes it a little more precise. And then I really like how that's looking. Now I'm going to add some copy. So I'm going to tap on the add text. I'm going to just start my initial. I always say hola. Then I'm going to go in and adjust my fonts. It just gave me a Lato or Lato, however you guys pronounce it. And I am actually going to use one of my branded fonts. And you're seeing a little bit of a glitch as I'm scrolling, but it's Qualion or Qualion. I'm not sure how you pronounce it again, but I'm going to adjust that to bold. I'm going to now add a little bit of letter spacing and I'm going to adjust the shape. I want some more padding so that it really just gives it more breathing room with the type and I'll change the color. I'm going to my color palettes. I'm going to switch to that pink and white. That is just going to be a lot easier to read. I'll adjust it a little bit more. 
And now I'm going to go and add an icon. I'm going to tap on the icon tool. I want to add a line to create more visual emphasis on the word hola. That's kind of how I introduce myself. I'm rotating it and now I'm going to change the color because I want that to stand out a little bit more. I'm happy with that color. Now I'm just going to change the order. Now I'm going to go in and add my type. So I'm just going to add some placeholder text and I'm going to get super creative and <laughs> write short intro. Then I'm going to adjust this again. I'm just right now creating the baseline copy and structure. So I'm happy with what I have now. I'm just going to duplicate this text so that I can have my body copy. And I'm just going to have some placeholder copy. I'm not going to go into writing anything because this is a template. So I have my body of copy here. I'm just going to adjust this. I'm going to adjust the line spacing. I don't want so much line spacing. And this looks about right. And so this is really just to serve me as a template. And I'm just going to go in and duplicate this copy to be able to create my at Nikte Creative Design. So I'm just going to select it and type my information. Then I resize this and my template is ready to go. So let's get back to talking about these three templates. Instagram takeovers are a great way to get connected with a new audience. I often do these, so I created this template to help me share what I do. It makes it easier to be consistent with my message, plus this helps me prepare ahead of time and it works like gold to capture attention from the start. So I typically introduce myself and use hola, so I included that in the graphic. I put my name, Nick de Cuevas, and the name of my company, Nick de Creative Design. Then I include what I do and who it's for. This is really helpful. You want to make sure you keep it short, sweet, and simple. Now, a quick hack I want to share with you is that you can still record a video of yourself on Instagram stories, but then import this as a sticker and overlay it for your content so you still have the visual supported by your voice in the background as a video. This brings us to the list template. A list template can help you break down a process into easy to read steps. I typically use this when I require more than one story to explain a certain concept and it works really well. If you've ever paddled with Instagram text tool in your stories, you know you spend a lot of time trying to set that type up. So instead, use a template to improve your workflow. Not only does this save you time, it's easier to remember with the visual aid and it lets you plan ahead. Another use for this template is for your campaigns. You can use this for any time you're going to launch a new product or service and you can divide it up into talking about different features that you want to highlight. It really helps you maximize your storytelling process. Last but not least, IGTV cover templates can be incredibly helpful. It's a great way to promote your IGTV videos in your stories, which generate more views than your feed post. So these can really help break up the content of your stories if you're just doing videos talking about the IGTV episode. Having this graphic in between would really help you. And if you want to go the extra mile, you can use the list templates we just talked about to give a couple of pointers as to what people will learn inside your IGTV episode. When I created my IGTV template covers on Spark Post, I used three different variations within the same structure. This helps me use color strategically to reference topics in my channel. Having these three templates for your Instagram stories will not only save you a ton of time, but it allows you to stay on brand and focus on what we all need to do, engage with our community. This is Nikte Cuevas of Nikte Creative Design. I'm a proud Adobe Spark ambassador, and I can't wait to see what you create for your Instagram stories.